Now there was a email sent to us about dallying or why I prefer the horn that I use. And I, and I hope I have read it correctly because I, I didn't totally understand it. He asked about the, the post horn as opposed to the dally horn. And uh, I don't know. I'm just going to tell you what I do. This horn is called a Guadalajara. It's not a post horn. A post horn would be straight here with a cap on it, perfectly round, just like a round post. It wouldn't have this lip on it. I designed this horn, or I didn't say I didn't design it, but I wanted to make sure these, this style was on these saddles because it's lower in the back so I can dally. So when I dally, my hand's at the perfect angle. That's one of the seven reasons I don't like a post horn because this, when it's flat on top, you have to turn your hand too much and you end up smacking your wrist all the time. The other thing on the Guadalajara horn, it tends to drive the, the dallies down towards the base of the horn. And the lower you can get dallying on a saddle horn, the less pressure you're putting on the front end of a horse, especially the right shoulder if you're right-handed. So a post horn, a lot of guys tend to dally high up here. And on the Guadalajara, if you did that, it'd break you real quick because the dally will pop off. And that's a wonderful feeling. But a post horn, you can get a dally on it, but you're putting too much angle on the on the bars of the saddle. That's why I don't like post horns. The other reason I use a big diameter horn is because when you dally on a, I'll, I'll just say a dally horn that I'm thinking he's talking about. They're narrower. They got a smaller neck and they got a cap on them, and. Um, for me, because it, we slide rope, we don't dally hard. The bigger the diameter, the less friction. So when I go around the horn, the distance around the horn is bigger, so it's easier for me to slide rope. If it was small and I had to stack them on to get them to stay, it's real hard to slide. Now, if you want to contradict that deal, I'll tell you how. You take a dally horn that I th I'm thinking of, the narrow one with the cap on it, like all Western saddles have. Now you go down to Baja, and the, the vaqueros down there, it's brass. There is no leather on it. There is no mule hide. There is no rubber. It's brass. And I have seen brass horns in Baja and Sonora with grooves in them from dallying for so many years and sliding rope. But the big deal for me on a big diameter horn is that I don't have to go as many turns. And I'm, I'm sure somebody that passed physics, I can't even spell it, but somebody that passed it could tell you that when you wrap around a larger diameter, it's better than a smaller diameter. So I hope it answers your question, but the bottom line is in the 70s, the post horn got real popular and a lot of them guys can no longer hitchhike. So, I like the Guadalajara. Thank you.